Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're doing great and uh, welcome back to your daily update on Ripple slash XRP. Uh, it will be mainly focused on XRP again. Yesterday, we, um, yesterday there was some sort of a chance to actually get a, a bullish breakout, um, which is still here. And that's mainly based on uh, this being the beginning of a new month, or at least the, the beginning of the first week of the of not the first month. Uh, but of this month of September, usually that Monday uh, slash Tuesday can be quite volatile. Last week, Tuesday, we actually saw that that huge uh, rally. As most of you know, it seems longer ago, but it was actually last week, Tuesday after some news. All right. So I'm not sure we'll get volatility like that. Um, but I do still think we'll, we'll get volatility. Now, the thing that's a little bit different from yesterday, though, is that XRP looks significantly more bearish. And uh, there are different different reasons for that. And, and we'll go over those in the in, in this video. Um, but yesterday, XRP rejected off of this 50 EMA. And now it really looks like it's struggling with breaking above 51 cents, which is quite logical if you take a look at Bitcoin, which is also struggling quite a bit. Um, with with staying in this range, I mean, Bitcoin is very close to a bearish breakout right here, but still, that also means that XRP is bearish um, at this point of time, which I don't think is a hot take, all right? But um, we'll talk a little bit more about that in this video. Before we dive into that, though, I do want to mention as well that I have my own premium group uh, in which I share my own trades as, uh, as signals. I'm a, a profitable trader, so if you're interested in that, consider joining. Uh, but apart from that, it's also a chat room full of traders and, uh, and you gain access to my trading guide. So very valuable if you actually want to learn how to trade and how to become a better trader. Check out the links down in the description. But for now on to XRP. So, um, yeah, I mean, yesterday there was actually some sort of some sort of bullish momentum here, right? There, there was the potential to break above. It broke above the 28 EMA. It was trying to break above the 50 EMA. There, there was some hope that Bitcoin would get a would be a little bit more bullish right here, um, especially in the evening. But then that dissipated quite quickly due to a strong dollar. All right, a strong dollar is bad for crypto. And that's also one of the main reasons why Bitcoin is bearish like this. And it has its effects on XRP. This bearish momentum that XRP is seeing, obviously, it's not strong on its own, but it's, it's mostly caused as well by Bitcoin. And that's also the main reason why it could still get to the top of its range, if you can call this some sort of a range or consolidation, at 53 cents. It really is still a possibility due to it being Tuesday. I, I would say it needs to happen today. Tomorrow is too late. But if Bitcoin for some reason is still able, and yes, it really will depend on Bitcoin, unless we get some fundamental news regarding Ripple and the SEC, but I doubt it. Um, but if Bitcoin is able to break above 25,800, for example, yeah, then XRP actually has a very, very good chance to, to break above its own resistance at around 51 cents. And technically, that just breaking already, uh, that just breaking uh, or already like, confirms a, a move up to 52 and a half and 53 cents. Now, as most of you know, ultimately, my uh, prediction for XRP has always been a move down to this level right here between 47 and 46. Uh, this doesn't change if it gets this bullish breakout. All right. At this point of time, the bullish breakout doesn't even look likely if, if the dollar strength index remains bullish like this, for example. Um, it just looks more likely that XRP will break down below 50 cents, which would cause a drop like that, I would say. Uh, but even if we get a bullish Bitcoin today and XRP is able to get this bullish breakout, XRP would just stay in this consolidation and at some point of time drop down towards that support level. At least according to my analysis. Uh, you can disagree with me on that. Obviously, I'm, I'm not always right. So if you have a different opinion, I, I'm, I'm always open to talking about that, right? So you can join the Telegram uh, or, or just let me know down in the comments and we can talk about it. But for now, th these are my these are my thoughts and this is my analysis. So um, I do want to wish you a great day um, and, uh, and I'll see you all in my next videos. So for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.